Hello, I'm Mike Merchant, urban entomologist for the Texas AgriLife Extension Service. Until recently, the pest control industry has made little use of advanced molecular biology techniques, but that's changing. It turns out that an essential tool for CSI and real-life crime solving, DNA fingerprinting, has practical uses for our industry. To learn more about it, I caught up with Dr. Kate Johnson of Research Associate Labs at the 2011 Bedbug Academy in Arlington, Texas. What do is a minimally invasive way for you to determine if your clients really do have a bed bug infestation. Um, a lot of times if you go in and you see them, you don't need to do this test. I'm going to be honest. It, it would really be a waste for you to do it. Um, if you see bed bugs in a master bedroom and you want to know if they're in the children's room and you don't see any signs of them, that would be a good place for the DNA test. Or if you want to know, should I treat the couch in the living room? I see no signs. I would just do a generalized treatment as, or should I actually see the couch? That would be a good test for this. Um, there are some swabs up here. Feel free if you want to actually take them out. I can pass some of them around. People are, are very concerned, very threatened by bed bugs. And so even though they may not have any signs, may not even have any bites, they want to make sure that they're not in their house or that they haven't come home from a trip and brought them with them. It's a great tool to use for that. We provide these swabs to you so you can take a few of them in at a time. You would open it up preferably wearing gloves. And you are gonna start with areas that are least likely to have bed bugs working your way towards most likely. So most bed bug infestations are around the bed, about 93%. So what you would do is you would take the swab out. I would start with the areas surrounding the bed first, um, swab underneath. Literally, the, the end of the swab is where we're collecting the sample. And so you wanna almost roll it back and forth um, up underneath any areas that bed bugs are likely to travel. Uh, around the floor, the boards on the floor, the carpeting, because they've walked there and we're trying to cross their path to collect the DNA. Uh, I would then move to the baseboards, swab along the baseboards using the same swab. And I would ultimately finish with the bed. Uh, pull up most of the bedding, as you never know, it may have been washed last night. And I would go along the crack between the mattress and the box spring, swab along the creases, up under the folds, anywhere that bed bugs would travel. And what I'm doing basically is just collecting pieces or remnants of what they've left behind that maybe we can't see with the naked eye. So, And then I would go ahead and seal my swab. If I do see any bugs or signs of bugs, I could also put the little bug in there and seal it back up and send it to the lab. So is this really expensive? It's not, it's only $15 a test. Uh, we try to keep it affordable so that you can use it quickly and easily when you go and do an initial inspection. And how long does it take to get an answer? If you, uh, once the results are received in the lab, or once the sample is received in the lab, it, we should have it to you that afternoon. So if you go in and you take a test on Monday, you send it overnight to the lab, we receive it Tuesday morning, you'll have it Tuesday afternoon. This video is not an endorsement of services provided by Research Associate Labs. If you have more questions, you should contact the lab directly.